Okay guys, and welcome back to Just Drive, and now we've got another review. Yeah. On today's video, we're gonna feature the AMG- a Flashy car. A very flashy car, the Mercedes AMG GTR. <laughs> Incredible um, spec, not car. just spec, but uh, individual model. Everything, car, everything. <laughs> it's, this, if you couldn't tell, is a car that both me and Ahmed yes. very much admire, and really hope to add to our gar garage. The bonnet. Soon. Everything okay. about it. So, as you already know, Ahmed, <laughs> this is a four-liter V8. Now, this is Terrible. as. Oh, hang on, if I'm okay. getting to it. This is a hot V engine, which is I'm sure in the B-roll now. Now, if you look at the back of the engine, you can actually see that there's two turbos mounted within the inside of the V of the engine. And this is seen, you can quite see, because obviously with new cars, a lot is covered, but you can make out what's going on. So this car creates 577 brake horsepower and 700 newton meters of torque, or 515 foot pounds. Now, not only is this car finished in Green Hell Magna, Green Hell Magna, and it is certainly a very good looking car. Going around it, it's quite a high specification. You've got obviously, like all Mercedes, all the parking assists and bits and bobs for the front of the car is hidden within the front bag. To keep you from hitting anything. Yep, and the camera here. No, nope, this oh, is a sensor. Oh. Sorry, mm -hmm. the parking sensors are front and side. Now this is a bi-turbo car, which I obviously just explained. Hence why all the bi turbo badging. I don't think any GTR comes with less spec. I mean, just a few No, this is a very, very high spec. This isn't necessarily the one I'd go with. I don't think I'd get the, which roll is what cage. would come onto in the roll cage. All those seats, because you know. You can't fit. Portly boy. I would get them. Definitely. And that's why you're wrong. Anyway, coming back onto, uh, into the car, it's finished with the black wing mirrors, which I think are. Good. I think this sounds good. They look, good. Yeah, they look, they look good. very good. And it's got the carbon fiber roof, yes. which looks very, very good. Yeah? I'm coming to Do you from agree? the other side. So we're going to go to the back, actually. Now, at the back. Uh, at the black? At the back, we've got this wing. lovely black wing, which is actually adjustable. I believe it's like between 10 and 30% adjustment for extra downforce, depending on when you're on track. But it does look so good and it adds so much to the car. Moving down, we've got the AMG GTR badging. And coming further down, we've actually got some aero. Yes, active aero. Yes, now there is a lot of aero on this car. Some that feeds in through the, um, through the front into the bonnet, which will cool the engine. Some that cools the brakes. Now this car has carbon ceramic brakes. And if you're curious as to how that is, or how you can tell, it's got the bronzed brake calipers. Hmm. Which Just I like Porsche, they have the yellow. Yes, which I think looks very good. Coming further down, there's something that not a lot of people seem to notice about the AMG GTR. Mm -hmm. And it's the fact that it's got four exhausts. So we've got two central ones here. Mm -hmm. And two, here's a heat shield. One here, and one on the opposite side. Mm -hmm. And my noise. God, does it sound good. <laughs> Yeah, if you couldn't tell from the startup, and I really hope that our microphone is doing it justice, and whichever device you're using, it sounds so good. Amazing. But I'm guessing this is something you already know by watching and clicking on this video. This car is immense in every way. Now, the AMG GT was originally brought into line to replace the SLS, but wasn't a true successor. It was brought in as a brand placement. Mm -hmm. This car was created to go against the likes of the Porsche 911. So the GTR, this model in front of us, was aimed to go against the GT3, which funnily enough is right there. Uh, yeah, that's a Touring. It's a Touring, yes. But this is what this car was based off. Obviously now we've got the GTR Pro, mm -hmm. which has just been released, and that's the GT3 RS equivalent. And then we've got the Black Series, which is coming, which is gonna be the GT2 RS. Equivalent. Equivalent, yes. Now the thing is, versus the GT3 cars, this car is real-wheel drive, which makes it very, very likely on-road. 
and with the I'm valuable drift control okay. yes i mean it's you are a very brave soul if you turn that anything other than full because this car yes in today's terms 570 safety horsepower isn't that much when you compare it to the aventador and supercar hypercar levels but this is a sports track car and it is a good one at that so if we oh. head on to the interior of the car, oh sorry, Ahmed, do you have something to say? No, no. Okay. Let's head so on we, to the interior. If we continue to head on to the interior, we can I can point you out to a room. Okay. So the one of the main things that I really like about this car is the seating position. Now you sit so low in this car that the um, door sills are actually above your shoulder and it really gives you that sitting in a Batmobile feeling. You've got this long bonnet in front of you, this incredible grumbly noise behind you and it really makes it a sense of occasion especially for a sports car. Now this model's got the optional track seats, the ones that are, will keep you in place. Now this isn't the, car, the ones I choose, not out of choice but out of <laughs> other reasons. Other reasons. Other reasons. But otherwise, this is exactly how I'd expect the interior. It's got the Alcantara steering wheel, which looks so, so good. Now, yes, there's been a refresh of the AMG GTR, and there is a new steering wheel. I'm going to try to get into the inside. Yep. Ooh, just yes. lovely. So if you have a little look at the AMG GTR steering wheel, that has been updated and replaced, but I still think it looks very, very good. It looks now, amazing. There is piano black finishing all around the interior of the car, including some dry carbon there in the center. Yes. Now the reason for this large center console, which is a little unlike anything else, is because truthfully, it's a huge. That is where the transmission is. The gearbox. The gearbox, yeah. That's the gearbox. And this is used to sort of hide it out so that the engine can be placed further back. So, so this is front, truly a mid-front engine front car. Engine car. Because when you have a look in the bonnet, which I'm sure Ahmed can put uh, in now, uh, yeah. uh, with his wonderful editing skills, you can actually see how far back the car is mounted. The engine is mounted in the car, actually. And that there is a very large crumple zone, not that you ever want to use it. <laughs> So apart from that, yeah. you have the normal Mercedes buttons. You do have the normal Mercedes buttons, but displayed in what could only be described as the ultimate Mercedes, which in my opinion, this potentially is the ultimate track Mercedes. Now, did you know this fact that why these things are placed like this in a V shape to because represent of each of the V8 v cylinders? Oh, I did not know that. So you have I four buttons there, four buttons here in yeah. a V. So it represents the mm -hmm. V8. Yes. Now, looking around the car, you know, you've got all your comfort settings and obviously the traction control button the there CLO. in the center, which is a dial that is a variable adjustment on how much traction control you are actually getting. Just say TC. TC. So and you've got care. to be a very, very brave soul to put it to anything other than on. It tells you to take care. It's a TC. It's, well, yeah, take care. You've got, you know, what everything, everything you expect in the Mercedes. It is a very comfortable car with a brilliant AC system and a great ride. Now, so, there have been comments from owners who do own these cars and say that if you're above, you've got to be above six foot to comfortably drive it. In centimeters? 185. Okay. Ish. I don't know. But otherwise, I think this is truly a really good looking car. Don't forget to capture the back there with the roll cage. painted to the exterior roll cage. Should we head onto the trunk and show them the capacity? Yes, we shall. So let me open the trunk using this button. Or Oops. you can also open it with a key, which I think you actually have on you. Well, do I have the key? Yes. Ah, you had it on you. So moving to the trunk mm -hmm. at the back of the car. Yeah, at the back of the car here, we've got obviously this lovely key, which is very Mercedes, except on the back, you've really got the AMG badge, mm -hmm. which isn't on every car, not AMG models anyway. So Non-AMG models. Opening the trunk. So by opening the trunk, unlock. Open. So imagine it's opened. Okay. Let's just open it from this what from the inside. I mean. Oh, I did it. You have to hold down on it. So opening the trunk. Do you want to reshoot that? You're welcome. No. Yeah. Okay. Let right. people see that. We'll just let know. everybody know that we don't actually know what we're doing. We're just fumbling through it. As usual. Now this has actually got a very large capacity for a boot, and especially of that of a car of its size. I mean. This goes against the 911, and this definitely carries a lot more. One point for the Mercedes, Ahmed, mm -hmm. take that. However, another reason I wouldn't take it with the roll cages, obviously you've got that bit more room. 
and you have a lot of yes. storing space and you have the harnesses. So this car is for sale at Elegant Motors, which is around 55,000 dinar. Now retail price of this car is 85,000 dinar. So you've got a bit of a steal for a what? One year old car? Yeah. Comes with track pack stuff, yes. full AMG stuff and safety harnesses. harnesses. Yes. Now, something I really like about the boot, because I'm super awkward and would definitely do something wrong, a little grab handle yes. to close it. Requires a little bit of force, something I've not done before. And just like dropping a bonnet, done. That's it. That's it. So that was the Mercedes AMG GTR. A little walk through a bit of a startup and our thoughts on the car. What a, lo what a lovely car. Yep. So if you've got any thoughts on the car, leave them down below. And Ahmed, I'll let you do the honors. Sure. Um, as you guys might have said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. And tell us what do you think of this Magna Green AMG GTR. Unless you don't like it, then don't bother. No, even, even though, oh, just let us know in the comment section below. And, even if you're wrong. And until next time, just right.